Hello world, welcome to Tech Blog, and you are viewing the Linux Server Administration series. In this video, we are going to install Django on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. Let's know about Django. Django is a full-featured Python web framework for developing dynamic websites and applications. Using Django, you can quickly create Python web applications. In this guide, you will get Django up and running on an Ubuntu 22.04 server. After installation, you will start a new project to use as the basis for your site. So, there are different ways to install Django, depending upon your needs and how you want to configure your development environment. Here we are going to install Django in a self-contained environment using tools like VENV and Virtual ENV. A virtual environment allows you to install Django in a project directory without affecting the larger system. You can therefore select Python packages on a per-project basis, regardless of conflicts with other projects' requirements. This is typically the most practical and recommended approach to working with Django. Let's begin by refreshing the local package index. Let's open a terminal and type sudo apt update. Before install Django, let's check for the Python installed in your system. Actually, Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish by default comes with Python version 3.10. Next, let's install pip and venv from the Ubuntu repositories, use the following command. Now, whenever you start a new project, you can create a virtual environment for it. Start by creating and moving into my new project directory, my Django project. Next, create a virtual environment within the project directory using the Python command that's compatible with your version of Python. Type python3 mvenv then your environment name. We will call our virtual environment as my underscore env, you can name it something descriptive related to your project. This will install standalone versions of python and pip into an isolated directory structure within your project directory. The directory will be created with the name you select, which will hold the file hierarchy where your packages will be installed. To install packages into the isolated environment, you must activate it by typing source my underscore env shash bin slash activate. Your prompt should change to reflect that you are now in your virtual environment. To leave your virtual environment, you need to issue the deactivate command from anywhere on the system. Now it's time to install Django. Type command pip install Django. Here you can see in file manager my isolated environment created but there no Django project created till now. Let's check my Django admin version so, type Django-admin-version and they're my version is 4.0. To build your project, you can use Django admin with the start project command. We will call our project Django project, but you can replace this with a different name. To avoid having too many nested directories, let's tell Django to place the management script and inner directory in the current directory using the ending dot. Start project will create a directory within your current working directory that includes a management script manage.py and a directory that includes the actual project code. Now it's time to migrate the database. Let's use the migrate command with manage.py, 
Type Python manage.py migrate. Finally, create an administrative user so that you can use the Jano admin interface. Let's do this with the create super user command. This will prompt for username, if you left it blank then it will grab the Ubuntu default username as you can see here my username is techblog. Let's set my username admin. Putting an email and password for my admin account. Once you have a user, you can start up the Django development server using following command python manage.py run server localhost with port 8000. You can put any host instead of localhost also. Now open up a web browser and here we go it working. And here you see the log reflection while accessing the server. Now open admin dashboard using slash admin followed by our IP or localhost. Log in using your credential and here is your admin panel. So, guys finally we deployed Django in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. Hope this video is helpful to you. Do like and share this video, and hit on the subs button to get the latest update. Tech blog is sign out for now, see you again. Thank you.